to race set for a start son of a god the dominant favorite Away, they're racing. Crandon jumped brilliantly. And we've got Dreams also got out there like a scalded cat near the outside, burning up towards the front shortly after the start. Cocky Joy driving forward. West 54th right behind those when they got going into stride. And it was being closely followed by State Attorney, who's handy. Son of a God tucked away just in behind those. Badge of Courage kicked up on its inner. Followed further back, Rebel Yellen Al Dalard. Night Voyage, Wanna Be Good, who's next to last and towards the rear of the field is King Cool. They're at the top of the home straight. 400 left to run. We've got Dreams led Cocky Joy after they'd balance for home. Then down the outside, State Attorney being put into the race by Hall. Son of a God around his heels about to let down as well, but We've Got Dreams led them at the 200. Got the measure of Cocky Joy. State Attorney, Son of a God can't go on. We've Got Dreams has kicked away from them. We've Got Dreams shot clear over the closing stages. And here's another one for the lane stable. We've Got Dreams was too good. It absolutely towed them up. Led from go to woe virtually from Badge of Courage. Tight go third Cocky Joy. Also West 54th sneaking up on the inside of those night voids from State Attorney. Son of a God didn't offer a lot there the favourite when uh, Pike really put the acid test to him. Then Cramden followed by Aldalar. Well back is King Cool Rebel Yell and uh, the tail end of pulling up here at the crossing is want to be good. Michael Lane Stable has come up with a double here today. Kira Yule aboard We've Got Dreams, We've Got Dreams, sprung the gates very quickly, was able to head them off and uh, just surged clear from its rivals there. The universal rule of Philly, number nine, We've Got Dreams, goes back to back and makes it five out of nine. So uh, a very, very good patch here for Michael Lane, Black Jew Catty in race six. And he rolls it up now with a double into the seventh event of the day with We've Got Dreams, the universal ruler three-year-old. And she did it from top to tail. Kira Yule aboard, part owned there, of course, by uh, Pete Capararo enjoying a good afternoon as well with uh, G. Ralston, the Falsify Group, S. Bell and M. Hanna, uh, B. de Gougier, J. Powery and A. Ruck, J. Harrison, M. Danskin, M. Bushby, L. Jury. And she was super strong right from the word go. She showed dazzling speed out of the gates. She really didn't uh, come up for too much air. And then she was asked to quicken again over the final 250, which she responded to Kira Yule. And few riding in better form than Kira, certainly in WA at the moment. 58.69 the time. Well, there you go. They, they certainly ran it up. 34.60 the 600. One and a half by half a length margins. 9, 3, 10 and 8. Nine first, we've got dreams. Three second, badge of courage. Ten, cocky joy holds third in front of number eight, West 54th. Fifth is seven. Want to be good, although it did pull up and it was on its own back there at the, uh, at the crossing by the time the others had. So I'm uh, not quite sure what the story was there. But nine, three, ten and eight numbers here after the running of the seventh event for the day. Race eight, the Heineken three handicap, eight the escorts out with 12 shoo And a really good clash here, Michael Lane and Kira Yule. They're going for another win. Michael Lane for his third in a row. Kira with a double race to race. They've got Resort Man, who's exciting. Three for three. Let's go downstairs. There's plenty to talk about down there, Britt, at the moment with Michael Lane. Oh, there is indeed. We only just finished talking to Michael Lane and he's back when you uh, arrived on course with your truck of nice horses. Laney, did you uh, dare to dream of perhaps having a treble? Yeah, well, we've only got two so far, Britt, so we, um, we'll take it as it comes. But, um, yeah, look, they, I knew they'd all run well. They're all in good order. Um, yeah, look, so, you know, to be coming to the races with five starters on a sad day is, you know, is great for me. We've only got 20 horses in work, so, I mean, that's a quarter of our stable. So, yeah, it's amazing, really. Yeah, kind of... I suppose I don't have to pitch myself because I know all the hard work that's gone into it. So, no, it's really good. Yeah, absolutely yeah. it is. It's very well deserved. Let's mm. talk about We've Got Dreams. Gee, she's very quick in the beginning stages. We spoke about it after her last start victory, but she just flies the gates. And, and she had that one on the insider in Cramden, who is a speedster. Yeah, she's sharp, isn't she? She's, um, she's very quick and they're going to be pretty quick to lead her up. Um, but um, look, she's she's a real, really been an honest filly. I think the three weeks has done it really good. You know, of course she puts in so hard, it does take a bit out of her. So we might sort of 
stick with that program a little bit if we if, it, if the races suit. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work that way, but um, look, yeah, no, very happy. She's another homebred, so another positive for the um, for the um, Michael Lane and Peter Capararo breeding um, operation. operation. <laughs> Bob Peters, watch out! Yeah. You are uh, breeding uh, some nice horses, and the one that we see next is a weanling purchase in Resort Man. How is he coming into the races today? Yeah, well, I was the most confident with him, so let's hope he proves me right. Well, hopefully we're speaking soon. Well right. done. Cheers. Michael Lane, after the victory of We've Got Dreams, Kira Yule jumping in for the second time here today. Kira, have you ridden a horse before that has the, the gait speed that this one does? No, every time I ride this horse, I just say to Michael, she's getting faster and faster. I didn't know she could get faster, but she's a very sensitive soul. You know, she goes in on her own, and as soon as I touch the saddle, if she's going to crack off, she'll crack off. But she uh, held herself together just today and flew the gates like we expected, and... Yeah, toughed it out because she goes hard. Obviously, you had to do it sort of to the outside of Cramden, who was kicking up underneath you. Coming into the corner, did you feel like you had plenty of petrol left to run it out? Yeah, I did, but, you know, sometimes she just puts so much in, you feel like you've got more than what you've actually got once you go for her. So I never actually had to get her off the bit today, so it, it suited her really well and hopefully doesn't knock her around too much. Michael knows the horse really well, started it perfectly. Three weeks was the work to treat with her and 1,000 metres is clearly a go because of the way she races so yeah he, he's trained this horse fantastic like he does with all his horses and um, yeah she's starting to be a good horse for me. In the next resort man what are you expecting to do there? Yeah look he, he's awesome I love getting up to ride every morning when I have to go into the track so really looking forward to this race he just keeps stepping up every time I ask him to so another step up today against a really good horse but yeah I don't doubt him. Well you're up for the task Congratulations on the double so far and hopefully it's another one in a minute. Thanks, Britt. Kira, you riding in superb form and uh, she just seems to have a, a little bounce in her step when she talks about Resort Man and uh, why wouldn't she? We'll take a quick break here and uh, we'll uh, come back with a preview of the last...